Welcome to the studio, it's Froyle here and today I have the right size palette knife. <laughs> I'm working on another swipe technique, very experimental, but this time I have a size appropriate tool. <laughs> now I've got my canvas, it's 12 by 16 inches, ready to go, got little feet on the bottom, I'm in the midst of an experiment using the fluid art techniques and it's been so much fun. Right, I'm using some leftover paints today. They've been mixed with the Liquitex pouring medium. I have black. I have a bronze mix, which looks pretty nice. I have a copper, a gold, and we're putting in a beautiful turquoise blue. Doesn't that sound exciting? So for this experiment, which yes, I haven't done before, I'm going to be putting the black and the bronze mix on the canvas as the background color. And then I'm going to put stripes of the other paint and swipe it with my swipe mix. My swipe mix turned out all right last time. Everything's a little dubious because it's the first time I've tried these techniques. Right, so my idea today is to lay down a bed of colour. Well, it's actually black. <laughs> it's a colour. And then I'm going to put some brighter colours on it and do a swipe. Now that I actually have a palette knife the right size, I think that's going to be a lot better. The bronze mix is a cup of leftover bits and pieces of paint. And I'm thinking that the two-tone background might be a really nice way to start. Now, I think I saw something there in the paint. We can't have any little grubby bits, that's for sure. Sometimes you get that if you're mixing a cup of paint with leftovers. <laughs> but not to worry. Right, so I think that's a great combination of the black and the bronze mix. What's happening next? <laughs> I think I'm going to put, hmm, I've got some beautiful turquoise. I'm going to put it right here and I'm going to do a swipe from this corner over to there. That's the plan. And no, I haven't done this before. <laughs> so we'll see if it turns out how I have envisioned in my mind. It might not, but you know I can fix it if it doesn't work, it'll be all right. Right, I've got some paint on now. I've got my swipe mix that I was using yesterday. Very excited to have my size appropriate palette knife. I'm going to put it on here. Let it drip off a little bit so it's not too much on the palette knife. Might be a little runny my mix because I wasn't overly brilliant with the measurements. Hmm, that happens. But I'm still learning these particular techniques. It is all a bit of fun and you do have to allow yourself to experiment and to try ideas. Right, there's my colours. So, I did also learn that you're supposed to not go so fast. I was going a little fast yesterday. So what do I want to do next? Well, we need more color than that clearly, but I do want to keep some of the negative space and I'm not really good at that. I tend to cover everything, but I'm going to do it again. I think I'm going to start here again. And I do think perhaps my colors might be a little too runny. That's my theory because I lost them. Where'd they go? <laughs> I do like that turquoise. All right, we're doing it again. We're doing it again. We're doing it again. <laughs> I do think I need to get better at making sure I've got the right measurements because I tend to wing it, hope for the best, and sometimes that doesn't work out so great. But that's what the experimenting's all about. Oh, that one turned out better. Look, I like that one. The beginnings of them aren't working so well. So what should we do about that? I don't know. 
I'm thinking, what about if we did a swipe right across the bits that didn't work out so good? I know, right? We can do anything. Right, I'm doing it. And it seems to be starting with the colour I put down first. Do we want the turquoise? Yes, we do want the turquoise. Okay. So we're going to do the same, but we're going to swipe it that way and cover those bits that didn't actually get anything happening. And then we have to stretch it out and see how it goes. It is really fun. <laughs> Let's try doing, oops, I almost forgot to put the swipe mix on. <laughs> I'm just too excited to see how it turns out. I think my swipe mix also might be a bit runny. I know, I do need to take better care with the measurements. Okay, I'm going to go right across these two so it gives it some of that beautiful cell activation. Oh, I think I did better that time. I think it's just practice, really. Oh, slower, slower, slower. Stop being so fast. It's actually really hard to remember to be slow. <laughs> I'm always in such a hurry. Yeah, that's going to work. That was a good idea. Okay. So that's what we've got. Maybe we should put a little bit of the black on here so I don't have to tip it too far to get it to the edge. I do like using up all the bits and pieces. Then you get to make fresh new colors, but mm, although I do think that black is a pretty good stable color. Right, so we want that to be on the edge like that. Fabulous. And then I think I'll add some more to this edge so I don't have to I don't want to stretch it too much that my cells just go too crazy. So we're adding these colors, oops, so that I don't have to tip it so much to get the edges covered. That's the theory, and it is a theory. <laughs> all right, all right, I'm gonna do it. This looks really cool, can I just leave it? <laughs> Not too fast, because we want to keep glorious patterns as much as possible right how's that looking the cells look quite interesting these ones look glorious on the black i really like that i'm gonna do that again but i think we need to add something into our composition maybe we need to do something with this here Oh man, shame I ran out of black. Definitely need to fix these edges. And I think I might have a little poke around with that section. I added a little smidgen of the turquoise blue because it's just such a beautiful colour against my bronze mix. I just had to have it. So I'll let this dry. I can't wait to see how it dries up. This section here, I'm still loving. I'm definitely going to put the swipe over black again. That looks dramatic, but I do like a bit of drama. So <laughs> that's nothing unusual. This hopefully will dry up just as beautiful as it is now. I lost my goal, but I do think I had it a little runny. Yes, I'm learning. With each painting, I'm definitely learning something. So we'll let it dry. We'll see how it dries up and I'm pretty happy with it. Of course, I just couldn't leave the painting alone. <laughs> I added some of the beautiful copper color. Then I added some piggies in latte. I wanted to see how the metallic pigments would react sitting against the other paint colors. Next, I drizzled on some black. I mean, somebody stop me. <laughs> You should have come over and stopped me because I might have pushed it a little too far. I did like the deep color of the black against the beautiful piggies pigment. They sat so gloriously, but yes, I put it here and I put it there. I put it right down the middle and then I end up thinking, mm, was that really such a good idea? But the thing is, there's no delete button, there's no undo, and you never know how far you can go until you've gone too far. Ha, ha, ha. 
so I decided it all became a little bit too much and I ended up pulling out the swipe mixture and swiping over the middle section. I mean really it couldn't have got any more or any messed up and also I was really wanting to see what the paint would do, how the colours would blend, how they would react to each other. In the end I just had to try it. Look at how it is now, it's a little bit messy but each time I try something and each brilliant idea I learn a little bit more. The colours are absolutely beautiful and that's the really important part to me. We can mess with the composition, we can completely mess it up, I can always fix it, I can collage over it, I have a hundred jelly prints. <laughs> and there's always the deco foil but it did dry up rather beautiful even though my middle bits a bit messy so I thought let's add a focal point right down that section and I pulled out my fabulous dance moose stencils I love these shapes they're beautiful they are my own organic script looking writings they mean a particular secret code and I can't tell you what it is <laughs> They look absolutely fabulous so I decided to pull out the platinum stencil butter, run it through and see how that looked. The figures are just the most beautiful little shapes. They did turn out fabulous, I just loved it but I'm having trouble now with the platinum silver getting lost in the background. I know it's a recurrent theme with my paintings at the moment but we can always fix it so I put the stencil back in exactly the same place and painted over some of the shapes in black. So now some of them are in platinum silver, some of them are black and I'm pretty happy with how it's turned out. It shows up more of the black from the background and I think it's working a lot better. So then I finally left it alone. I actually really like it. I know it's a bit busy. I love the dance moves on the painting. My mum thinks it's maybe a bit too much. <laughs> but I think it looks great. What do you think? What do you think about the beautiful painting? Did I go too far? <laughs> Come and join me next time in the studio and see if I woo up before I go too far but there's no promises because we're on a creative adventure and we're experimenting with fantastic acrylic paintings. <laughs> <laughs>